Tensions rising in the Middle East. Israel carrying out airstrikes on Gaza today after Hamas launched rockets into the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Tel Aviv yesterday. Trey Yingst has more. John, good evening. The new year is not off to a great start in the Middle East. Overnight, Israeli airstrikes targeted Hamas positions along the Gaza Strip. The strikes were in response to rocket fire on Saturday that landed off the coast of central Israel. There was also a sniper attack from Gaza last week that injured one civilian, though Hamas claimed it was conducted by a rogue attacker. Egyptian negotiators are working around the clock to prevent another round of escalation between the two sides after that 11-day war last May. The development comes amid rising regional tension, as much of the American policies meant to decrease tension have only added to the status quo. For example, the eighth round of nuclear talks in Vienna, Austria, resumed last week between the U.S., Iran, and the parties to the 2015 nuclear deal, though Iran is still increasing its storage and enrichment of uranium, actions that may push Israel to act alone militarily against the country. Analysts warn a more passive approach to issues that have the potential to start a war could be very dangerous entering the new year. Iran this weekend kept the rhetoric high while commemorating Qasem Soleimani, their top general that was killed in a U.S. drone strike two years ago. They will not be given an opportunity for peace. The revenge for the assassination will continue. And they must not think that this amount of revenge is enough. No, the revenge will continue. The issues arise when rhetoric turns to action, and we have seen continued Iranian proxy action across the Middle East. One wrong move could take the entire region to a broader conflict. John? Trey Yangst reporting. Trey, thank you.